Welcome to Nursing School Explained and this video on metformin, which is one of the top 10 most commonly prescribed medications in the US. And metformin is a medication that is an anti-diabetic and also in a class called the biguanides. And as the medication class already tells us, it is the indica it's indicated for patients with type 2 diabetes. And the way it works, it decreases hepatic glucose production and also decreases intestinal glucose absorption and increases the cell's insulin sensitivity. So if we're absorbing less blood glucose and producing less and make the cells more insulin sensitive, then our blood sugars are going to come down. Common side effects, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, as well as bloating, and then lactic acidosis, which can become quite serious. So um, in, for nursing considerations and patient teaching, in case of illness, we need to make sure that we check the, our patient and that they are aware of the signs and symptoms of ketoacidosis and or lactic acidosis. And if that happens, we need to check their electrolytes, ketone levels, glucose, and their um, ABGs because their pH might be off because of the acidotic state. We also want to check their hemoglobin A1C, which is probably something that has been checked already before they get put on this medication. We want to check renal as well as liver function because of the risk for the acidosis and also knowing that it's going to affect those organs. Now, metformin is contraindicated in pregnancy and lactation, so we want to make sure that the patient is on a reliable method of birth control while taking this medication. As always, with any kind of chronic illness, we want to encourage lifestyle modifications, and so for diet, we want to tell our patient to decrease their intake of animal products and alcohol, increase exercise, and stop smoking to decrease those cardiovascular risk factors. Furthermore, we want to teach them signs and symptoms of hypo and hyperglycemia, which can occur with this medication, and how to use their blood glucose monitor if they are brand new diabetic. And then follow-up labs that should take place is a hemoglobin A1C, as well as electrolytes and liver function to make sure everything remains in that steady state, and hopefully that hemoglobin A1C is improving. Thank you for watching this video on metformin. Check out the other videos in the top 10 list and I'll see you soon right here on Nursing School Explained.